The start of the 2021 Formula 1 season is just days away now, so fans around the world are making their calls for the World Championship and predicting some outcomes we could see this season. We've already made our predictions, but today we wanted to take a look at who could spring a surprise, who could be the one to make a shock impact when no one saw it coming. So without further ado, here's some of our picks for dark horses in F1 this year. But before we get into the video, it really does mean a lot if you could hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications, and that way you'll also stay up to date with the latest content we provide. Let's get into it. Esteban Ocon A few weeks ago I explained how I thought Esteban Ocon would be beaten by Fernando Alonso, but I did also try to emphasise that it could go either way, and that is what makes the French driver a great shout as a dark horse. Ocon showed flashes of his great race ability during his time at Force India. A few years ago his duel with Sergio Perez sent sparks flying, however a year out of the sport was far from ideal, but he returned with a quiet season in 2020, picking up an underappreciated podium in Sakhir. However 2021 is a big year for him. He will need to pick up results and prove he is capable of leading the team, otherwise Alpine may get restless. All eyes are on Alonso this year, so that may help Ocon really shine with the focus off him a little bit. Oh, and there's also the added motivation of trying to beat a two-time world champ, Lance Stroll. Another man who has the chance to beat a multiple-time world champion in a team battle is Lance Stroll. At Aston Martin the focus is on the name, the colour and the arrival of the four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel, so probably for the first time since his father took over at the top. Stroll has got a chance to go under the radar a little bit. Last year he had some great results, P3 at Monza and on the outer loop in Bahrain, as well as a stunning pole position in Turkey. However, he's always been under scrutiny, and the way things went with Perez last year, he needs a big season. However, it is set up nicely for him to do exactly that. He's already shown what he's capable of, now he can go out there and do it with way less pressure. Pierre Gasly our second Frenchman and this one might be a bit more disputable, but hear us out. Gasly has shown at AlphaTauri that he's a brilliant driver quick, confident and he's really settled with the team right now. His new teammate is Yuki Tsunoda, who the Red Bull programme seem to have an awful lot of faith in. Gasly has a chance this year to really prove to his bosses that he is the man to comfortably beat Yuki Tsunoda, and surely they can't ignore him after that. And if they aren't going to take note, there will be a whole host of teams waiting for his services, I have absolutely no doubt about it. The Ferrari engine And finally, we don't actually have a driver on our list. Rather, the Ferrari engine. Over the last year, we've got used to the Scuderia power unit being arguably the worst on the grid, but now is its chance to prove everyone wrong. Now, I'm not saying they'll be the best engine on the grid, but I've got a feeling they won't be as bad as people think. After last year's showing, pretty much anything is an improvement. But if they can make enough improvements, I think the podium will be back in sight for the Scuderia. Who are you picking as dark horses next season? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. If you want more F1 news, check out the links in the description for more up-to-date content. But most importantly, enjoy the Bahrain Grand Prix this weekend, and I'll catch you next time.